is Where Do Chicks Come From? The author is Amy Sklansky. That means she wrote the story, and it's illustrated by Pam Paparone. Pam Paparone drew the pictures. This book comes to us from rentthechicken.com. You can look it up on the internet. There's a chicken yard. Look at the chicken house and all the chickens in the yard. What's a boy what's a boy chicken called? Rooster. Rooster. And what's the girl chicken? Hen. A hen. Yep. Looks like they have water and some food in their yard. There's the title page. Where do chicks come from? <laughs> this is an egg. You've seen eggs before, but this one is different. In three weeks, a chick will hatch out of the egg. One one week it takes for a... An egg begins as a tiny white spot inside the mother chicken. There may be many tiny eggs inside the hen at one time. A yellow yolk grows around each egg. There's where the yolk begins to grow. And a shell develops before the egg comes out. Then the father chicken, the rooster, mates with the hen. His sperm joins the growing egg. This is called fertilization. Soon, a clear jelly-like egg white or albumum grows around the yolk. Finally, a hard shell forms. The egg is ready to be laid. The hen lays the eggs. Over the next few days, she lays several more eggs. The hen sits on top of the eggs to keep them warm. As soon as the eggs are warm, the chicks start growing. <gasps> Inside the egg is everything a chick needs to grow. The yellow egg yolk contains liquid food. A thin white skin grows around the oak and al yolk and albumin and sticks to the inside of the shell. It holds the albumin together to cushion the growing chick. Oh, it's almost like a pillow, huh? The albumin contains water and a little more food just in case the yolk runs out. At one end of the egg is the air space. This is where the chick will take its first breath. See this little space? There's air in there. The egg you eat for breakfast could never grow into a chick because it was never fertilized. Other than that, all the parts inside the egg are exactly the same as the eggs Homestead Phil is putting in our incubator. The hen has warmed her eggs for three days now. Inside, the chicks are growing. No, it's... <gasps> Day three. The chick looks like the letter C. See right here, the letter C. With a dark spot in the middle. This spot is its heart. The heart pumps blood. The blood carries water and food from the yolk with albumum to, to the growing chick. The chick's waste collects in a small sack. Oh, so the chick has to go to the bathroom, but there's a small sack there that catches it. The chick's head is now half as big as its body, and its eyes are very large. Its tail has begun to grow. Wings and legs are forming. Look at that. That's cool. Briefly, the hen leaves the eggs to find food and water, but she quickly returns to warm them again. So the eggs have to stay warm all the time. Hmm. Day seven. The chick is only one inch long, about as long as your big toe. Even so, it's already starting to look like a chicken. 
the chick's eyes, stomach, brains, and toes have started to grow. A beak has started to grow too, but it is very soft. The chick's wings are folded across its chest. Look at that. Day 10. Every day, the chick uses up more of the food from the yolk. The chick lives in, in back inside the egg. Oh, the chick lies on its back inside the egg. Its wings, legs, and beak are fully grown. Look, you can see its little beak and its legs. Look at its big eye. It's all curled up, and this is its food around the outside. Sometimes the hen turns the eggs over. She keeps them warm on all sides. Oh, that's important to turn the eggs, huh? I think I have two pages. Day 11. The chick can open and close its beak now. It wiggles and bends within the albumum. Tiny bumps appear all over the chick's skin. In a few days, feathers will grow from these bumps. Here we are at day 14. The chick is tightly curled inside the egg. It turns to lie on its side. As the chick uses up more and more of the yolk and albumin, the waste sac expands. The chick has grown a special bump on the end of its beak. This is called an egg tooth. See the special bump? The hen clucks softly and turns her eggs again. The chicks are learning to recognize the sound of their mother's voice. The hen no longer leaves her eggs. She will not eat or drink again until they have hatched. I know. I hope she doesn't get too hungry. <gasps> Look at the chick now. Look at it inside the egg. Day 18. The chick has grown so big that it touches the inside of the shell on every side. Soft feathers called down cover its head and body. The chick uses up the last of the yolk. The yolk will give the chick energy to hatch and then rest for a few days without eating anything. Wonder why the chick needs to rest. Let's find out. Day 20. The chick practices breathing. In one day, it will hatch. Look at it all curled up in there. Inside the eggshell, the chick pecks a hole into the air space at the end of the egg. It takes its first breath and goes, cheep, cheep, cluck, cluck, answers the hen. Oh, the mother hen can hear a cheeping inside the egg. The next day, the chick pecks a tiny hole in the shell using its egg tooth. This is tough work for the chick. After making the hole, the chick sleeps for a few hours. Oh, so when our eggs hatch, they won't hatch like snap. They'll get a little hole in them and then nothing will happen. But we'll know the chick didn't die. That's just how nature works it, huh? Look at the mother hen. Do you think she's excited? Me too. Oh, look. When the chick wakes up, it pecks for hours. It pecks a circle around the middle of the shell. Next, it pushes hard against one side of the shell with its feet. Then it pushes hard against the other side with its neck and shoulders. Crack! The chick is hatched. The shell and the dried up waste sack fall away. The chicken doesn't need its egg, egg tooth anymore. So in a few days, it will fall off. Look how scraggly that chicken looks. It's kind of scraggly, huh? The chick is tired. It rests its wobbly legs as the other chicks finish hatching. Ooh, look how little it is compared to the mother. Is it sick because it can't walk? No, it's just resting. Huh? Let's see what happens next. Oh my goodness. The hen fluffs her feathers and spreads her wings to cover and warm her new chicks. The babies nestle close to their mother and sleep. As they rest, their down, their little feathers, dry. Their legs and necks grow stronger. 
hours later, the fluffy chick is the first to run out from beneath her mother's wings. The others soon follow. Together, the hen and her new chicks search for food in the barnyard. Oh, so chickens, chicks don't get milk from their mother hen. They just peck from the ground. Hmm, that was way cool. Found out more about eggs and chicks. Can you break an egg? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah.